Okay, so um, I wanted to stand because I wanted to share with you my week. I, um, my sister and I have been trying to memorize verses. And the first verse that we memorized was, was Psalm 1. So I've been meditating on this verse as I'm trying to memorize it. If you can put Psalms 1 on the screen. 1-1, one, one, please. Okay, so it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor, sta nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, and this first verse is very relatable. Because although I'm transforming in the renewal of my mind, I still have friends. I still have people in the world around me. Blessed is the man that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. The walk is the way of life. And standing in the way of sinners. So that you are not corrupted by it. And it's so easy to be corrupted. You see, I'm going through this time where I'm, I'm changing my mind, where my soul is following my spirit. And my spirit is, is, is um, following God's spirit, the Holy Spirit, and not my flesh anymore. Because I was living in a time where my soul was following my spirit, my flesh. And everything that was of my flesh was good for me. But now that I'm transforming my mind, I come to another hurdle with the counsel of the ungodly, standing in the way of sinners. And it's so hard because you don't want to seem like, oh, you know, you're, you're too good now, right? But that's okay. I think that now the small victories the little hurdles that I leap over that I that I succeed in where I say no I don't want to go there oh I'm a little busy when they try to hang out with me and I just thank God for those small victories because when the Bible also says, you know, flee from, um, resist sin and it, it will flee from you. So the more I resist my carnal nature, the more mature I get in the spirit. And it is so good. It feels so good. It's like once you stay, take a step, 
and it's little so victories, fast. you start to feel stronger. Like, okay, I'm in my next level. I'm, I'm moving towards the kingdom. And I just want to, I just want to discuss with you guys that the world we bask in sin all day long in my job i hear it all day i step outside i hear it all day on my phone i hear it all day and i'm trying to keep myself barricaded on that narrow path so we have to ask God for grace yeah. Yeah. to shelter us, to keep us away from the path of sinners. I say, God, please let something come up that I can't, I don't have to go where I don't need to go. Let my, let the route that I take be away from these people. And I'm praying for that because I just want to be better and better. But the verse two, I just want to read like three verses really quick. And then it says, but delight in the law of the Lord and in his law do it he meditate day and night so now the law of the lord becomes your law because you and the lord have one mind because you're meditating on the word you're constantly thinking on the word he puts in your heart because it's it's the holy spirit that saves it's god that saves there's no work you can do there's nothing you can do but it's the grace of God that saves you. So I thank God for the ears that I can hear, for the eyes that I can see, and the spiritual wisdom that I've gained to move forward in the kingdom of heaven. And in verse three, and he shall be like the tree planted by the river of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season his leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he does do it shall prosper yes because we are god's children and we shall prosper in what we do when we live according to his will when we live according to his way when we keep away from people that can cause us to go backwards i'm not going back i'm not turning back i'm moving forward and i thank god for his grace today he is so good to me Thank you that he has chosen me. He has loved me first. I couldn't even love myself. But when I started to look and ponder on the Lord, fill his, let his spirit, spirit fill me. Oh, yeah. I'm not going back. So I encourage you, you don't go back. Let's move forward. I know that we bask in sin, so meditate on his words. I always pray for him to keep writing his laws upon my heart. That I'm convicted when I when I'm in my flesh. So when I'm doing something wrong, he corrects me. And I thank God for correction. And that's my message tonight. And God bless. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord.